What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Deontay Wilder confirms that Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. are on his comeback hit list, as well as obvious trilogy fight with Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder has uh, still has hopes to fight Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz in the remaining years of his career. The Bronze Bomber also hinted at Tyson Fury trilogy as a target bout, referring to this as an obvious choice. He says Wilder is still adamant that he was cheated in this rematch with Tyson Fury. Regarding who he wants to fight, Wilder told Marcus Watson on Instagram Live without naming the obvious that people obviously know Fury I'd love to fight guys I haven't fought. You know, the ones at the top who I haven't fought, haven't got my hands on. That's what I want. I know that's kind of lame a little bit to not name a name, but anyone I faced at the top, I'm talking about you. When asked if Joshua and Ruiz are the top targets, Wilder responded, yeah. <laughs> Any fighter that's at the top, that people haven't seen me fight and people strongly want to see me fight, that's who I want to fight. I can sit here and name names all day. That's the easy part. I'm just going to go to the top. If it's someone I ain't fought, that's who I want to fight. I want to clean the division out. People think I'm gone or I've stopped boxing. I haven't. Those are the words of Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Now, I must say that this is good news to hear, very good news to hear. It's not one of those things where I know a lot of people want Deontay Wilder to retire or expect him to retire. Um, I don't. I'm a person that wants him to challenge all the other guys out there to see where he falls in lines of the best fighters of this era. Okay, that's all he can do is fight the best of now, not as of yesteryear or a fantasy matchup or all this, that, and the other. No, who can he fight right now that can, first of all, get him over the hump, get him over the rumors and all the other minions of channels that are still regurgitating the same stuff? What can get him a fight with other fighters that he hasn't fought? Okay, Tyson Fury, sure. He mentioned Tyson Fury. He said, I'm not going to name any names, but he mentioned Tyson Fury, obviously. And he still thinks he's cheated. So I think he's still hooked on that a little bit. But um, I think he should focus on someone besides Tyson Fury, someone besides Anthony Joshua. But speaking of Joshua, at least Joshua was a person that he didn't mention but first. At, at the beginning of the uh, other podcast, when he did admit that he believed that Tyson Fury cheated him. He didn't call Anthony Joshua's name. And I thought that was rather strange because it's like, okay, you name Dillian White, you name Andy Ruiz, you name even Hellenius, but you didn't name Anthony Joshua. I, I know it was another name in there. I think it was Kalnaki maybe, but he didn't name Joshua. Now he is naming Joshua. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, and I'm gonna, let me explain why. He didn't name it there on as a reason why. I don't know why he did, but he did have this to say <clears throat> about Joshua. He said that Joshua was trying to save face. Joshua was a guy that they lied and they moved the goalpost. And a lot of those negotiations, they were real shitty and murky. You know, we ripped through all of those, those type of situations and they were bad. And I think it was a lot of... Um, personality um, clashes between Eddie Hearn and Shelly Finkel, uh, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, and the way all those guys just really conducted business. You know, and it got messy because of the different personalities, of course, that clashed between the two sides. So um, I don't think that that's a fight people wouldn't want to see, but I do think that Deontay Wilder does need to start somewhere. Because if he doesn't, like, I agree with him. If he keeps just naming names without fighting anyone, people are going to think, yo, you're using other people's names for to build your profile back up because that shit was slapped down in uh, this time last year, 
Okay, so a lot of people will think that, will see that coming because that's exactly what he did. You fought and you talked up a lot of fighters without fighting them. You gave people the false sense of hope that you were going to fight these guys only to get disappointed when you fought other people that nobody really wanted to see you fight. You know, for example, nobody wanted to see Dominic Brazil. Okay, he should have fought Dillian White. Dillian White was the number one mandatory or he became, and then all of a sudden he wasn't because of a drug test that he never failed from that sanctioning body, which didn't make sense at all, okay? That's the guy that people wanted him to fight. Everybody wanted to see him fight Joshua. Contracts were being sent over from one side and one side only. Only a situation of $50 million was spoke of through an email, nothing else, okay? Nobody can produce anything else. Steven Espinosa, I have the contract he never sent anything. So if he knew he had what he said he had, he would have sent it out there. Okay, so that was that is another uh, um, situation where Wilder was building his profile by talking up another fighter that he never fought. We just want this not to be the situation. It sounds good. Wilder always says, well, almost always says, things that sound good. Well, I want to fight the fighters that I never fought. That's all I've wanted from anybody. Fight guys that you haven't fought, different challenges, new and fresh challenges. That's what I want to see each and every fighter fight, where there's heavyweight or flyweight. Okay, let's let's mix this up a bit. Because strange things happen when you when you stop having uh Derek Chisora versus Dillian White. Okay, that you know what I'm saying? But when you had Derek Dillian White versus Povetkin, what did you get? What did that produce? That produced one hell of a fight and a spectacular ending. Okay, so with the more Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua, those guys never fought before. So it, it, it it's you know it's step, it's, it, instead of all these rematches and oh rematch and trilogy match. No, no, forget Fury. Okay, fight somebody we haven't saw you fight. Fight Dillian White. Fight Andy Ruiz if Andy Ruiz is ready to fight you. You know, and move it from there. Fight Charles Martin, but you can't get these type of fights by uh, asking for too much money. And I keep, that, that makes people kind of um, apprehensive of what you really want to do and, or what you say you really want to do in your career asking for a lot of money. Because remember, the, this is the road back. This isn't the road at the top. So I think mentally he needs to humble himself and realize I am not the champ no more. I don't care how many people you convince that Tyson Fury cheated. Tyson Fury still has your belt. Okay, so you're not the king. OK, people might consider you the king, but that doesn't mean you are old or are, are entitled to a certain amount of money. You're not. OK, so just take what is a fair thing to fight another champ, a fair uh, price to fight another champ, which is Charles Martin. I think that fight should have been a great road back because Charles Martin, his, he's on the momentum because he has three straight wins. He was the IBF heavyweight champion of the world once upon a time. And I think that would be the fight. And you all, both of you guys are with PBC. So I think that would be a good fight. Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury are on the verge of colliding themselves. So for you speaking about Joshua, okay, we really didn't mention Joshua. So, you know, to be fair. So it wasn't like, oh, I'm talking Joshua's name up. But, you know, he just answered a question. He did. However, it's like, let's start more walking and less talking. Yeah, the talk has been, you know, finalized. He said what he wants. Let's see him produce something. Okay, besides somebody we already know that you're going to knock out in a matter of seconds. Sure, it's great for a, a knockout highlight reel for the first round KO, but what else? Because when you get in there with a good fighter, with another good fighter, that's what people are going to question. Not a, not a potato can or not an Uber driver. But anyway... You guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder wanting to take on Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz, or all the other names that he hasn't fought in his career. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.